right. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On um, today's video, we're going to be installing the first set of mods on the Evo. I'm super excited for it. It's going to be going uh, E85. Um, so I'm excited to see what that's all about. It's my first E85 car, so it's going to be super cool. Um, and we're also going to be cleaning up a couple of things, fixing a bunch of stuff. So stay tuned for this one, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, and don't mind the clutch fuel badge that's coming off. That was there from the previous owner, even though the car was always ran on 93. So all right we're starting the first first round of mods i got the oem uh intake pipe out we're gonna weld the bung here for uh, speed density i marked the location it should sit a little dark but it should sit right there um obviously this is temporary we're just trying to get the car together and have it retuned and then uh, I'm gonna pull the uh, the turbo setup out and then replace the, uh, the O2 housing with O2 dump. We're gonna change this to speed density and um, maybe maybe something on the valve, under the valve cover, um, depending on how things go today. I'm gonna bring this to Ed at ForceFed. He has the 1 8 bung for the AEM sensors and he's gonna check out the, um, the, the mystery parts that go under there. All right, so we dropped off the, uh, the intercooler pipe. It's the, it's the, uh, the, the one, the upper one here. Uh, we're gonna leave that stock for now until uh, until we do the next round of mods. Right now, I just want to clean everything up, get it to the point where it's um, working correctly, and I'm I'm happy and uh, I feel safe with it. So that got dropped off. The bone guy welded in, and then I have here. This is a, um, a used turbo kit for my buddy Greg. Uh, he had this uh, MAP performance um, O2 dump on it. So we'll be taking that off and putting it on my setup here. Uh, it helps the car breathe a little bit better. It'll be uh, better to tune, to tune with. And, um, and also I got a set of GSCS threes that are gonna be going in the head. Uh, I'm not sure what cams are in there, but they're not aggressive enough. So <laughs> we're gonna pop the S3s in there, make this car nice and lopy. Uh, she's gonna be loud. Uh, eventually we will more than likely do a titanium exhaust. Um, I was looking for an older style Busher exhaust, but I couldn't find one. So we'll see. I'm gonna keep searching until I find the exact one that I want. Uh, but for now, uh, that's the plan. So the S3s that I got um, were actually used um, so I'm having them check, checked over uh, at that force fed and his um, uh, his machine guy Bobby are, are basically checking everything over for me. Uh, Manny and Chameleon also checked them. I just want to be sure. Um, so just get a couple of opinions, make sure whatever I'm putting in there is safe. Um, I don't want to screw this thing up. So um, I already soaked down the, the manifold bolts. So we'll be, we'll be taking off this turbo kit. Um, I want to take it out, change all the gaskets, put the uh, the MAP-02 uh, dump on there, and uh, yeah, that's the next few steps. That's the first one. All right, she's off. With the help of Big Bertha. The juice sensor came out pretty quick too. A lot of shit that connects to that turbo. Um, 
so there she is we'll be replacing that o2 housing with the dump and uh and now we gotta buy a new radiator because the one that was in here was old and brittle and it cracked so the search continues for uh for a new rad unfortunately but it's progress it's out i'm happy it didn't take that long and it was my first time doing it so pretty proud of myself all right it's day two we're pulling pulling the studs out of the head they weren't they were in silicone on the bottom there and apparently they go into the oil galleys so we're gonna fix that and uh cut my buddy pile convinced me and sold me on uh some nice arp hardware to go along in there with my shitty ass manifold but eventually we'll change that too all right so now that the studs are out i got those arps i think we'll move on to fixing this shit Again, all this stuff is gonna be pretty pretty temporary for now. I just wanna get the car together, running, right, safe. And then uh, over the winter, we'll start changing over some stuff. So I'm coating the upper intercooler pipe, the lower, uh, the lower on the other side. And uh, we cleaned up the, uh, the MAP dump tube housing with uh with some glass beads so it's like uh it's like a satin nice finish on there but just clean it up and that's pretty much it so let's get to sandblasting and uh powder coating some stuff back at it with the evo turbo's been out um but I just took off the L2 housing. I'm gonna throw the, the dump on and start assembling this, this thing back together. I just cleaned up, where is it? I just cleaned up the, uh, the stud and I'm replacing, I'm replacing all this hardware with, with new stuff, um, which I got right here. And I also found at the hardware store, where is it? I found this uh, Permatex nickel anti seize it's meant for very high heat applications it says here up to 2400 degrees so that's gonna be pretty cool i'm gonna anti seize the living hell out of everything because everybody knows how well these uh exhaust bolts like to break so let's get to it and we found something interesting the coolant line for the turbo is crushed luckily it still works I have a spare uh, spare nine turbo here, thanks to Greg. So I took the uh, I took the good line off, and I'm gonna replace it with mine. I guess it's a good thing I took this thing off. We'll sa we'll save that turbo for the next couple hundred or thousand miles. All right, we're getting a little closer. Turbo's in. I gotta tighten out, tighten down the uh, the nuts on the studs. O2 dump is in, no two center is in, downpipe is back on, wastegate's back on, uh, coolant line is replaced, banjo bolt is back in, uh, what else? O2 center is plugged back in, under the car, looking good. I had to take off the downpipe to s swing it around the clearance there and I replaced the bolt on the left uh, because there was no clearance for a spring bolt. Um, this The clearance here is pretty close, but we got room and I had to bend the AC line a little bit to clear the tube just in case there's no rubbing or, or heat soak for this so it doesn't burn up. Um, I gotta take off the oil filter. I already drained the oil, uh, replace that. And that's pretty much under here. We also have a new radiator because I'm apparently a dumbass and I screwed it all up. So I have to get a new replacement one for now. Eventually we'll get something nicer. Um, that's pretty much it. The, uh, the new intake will have to wait until we go and get tuned because um, the, uh, the mass airflow is still attached to it. So that's gonna be put in when we go speed density. 
and then it's just really checking over everything and getting coolant in her and oil and that's pretty much it oh and one more thing these bolts in here and inside the valve cover it looks like they're leaking so i might put a little dab of rtv on them to kind of seal that up and that's it hopefully fingers crossed no leaks no nothing she'll be rolling today also i look like hell today I hit my head twice already i got this nasty thing i didn't even know until i saw that all right it took the uh the stock airbox bracket out of here clean up the rail a little bit um and some of this wiring is kind of shitty so that's the boost controller so i'm going to clean all this up make it nice tuck it away and uh then i also found this which is ghetto as hell like it's one solid line but it's got a stupid fitting to it just asking for problems anyways i'm gonna clean that up quick before uh before we continue Alright, so we have our appointment set for Wednesday for the cam install. And while we're at it, I want to check what the heck is in in here as far as the fuel pump goes. And I'm also going to be removing the FIC injectors that are in here. I'm going to send them out for cleaning and, um, and testing, make sure that they're good before, uh, before Friday's tune. So just trying to get the car ready to go before um before we get her tuned up make sure she's all good so we can start ripping on it again i got the hanger off i took off that plastic piece never done this shit before so probably gonna break it and regret it
fuel pump installed. Now onto the injectors. Time to unplug it, release the pressure, and um, get started on those. Just to cut the uh, all the plugs, and I took out one injector. And looks like the car came with a set of 1200s. The RFICs. I think for what we need right now, this will be plenty. And in the future, we'll more than likely upgrade to uh, 1650s. Um, that's probably all we'll ever need is 1650s. I don't think we'll, we'll get up in power that much on this car. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take these tomorrow to get them uh, flow tested, make sure they're nice and clean before the tune, and um, we'll keep you guys updated from there.
All right, Manny just did his thing. Stock turbo, cams, intake exhaust, little stuff. We have 422 on pump and 464 on E85. And I can't wait to drive it. Thanks, Manny. guys that's gonna do it for this video hope you enjoyed it um, I wish I kind of filmed a little more in certain areas but we learn as we go along my the boys here with me at the shop um, yeah hit the comments down below let me know what you think um, hopefully the video was everything you expected and uh, we'll definitely catch you on the next one peace